in this video we will discuss about ui path automation hub it means we will talk about introduction of ui path automation hub how we can use it and which all key features of automation hub i will also show you different components of automation hub how and where we can utilize this To start with it, let's understand what is UiPath Automation Hub. So UiPath Automation Hub is a collaborative process identification, automation pipeline management, and process repository tool. Its goal is to accelerate the adoptions of RPA across our organizations by building an RPA community of interest. This puts us the employee in the driver seat of automation initiative so let's understand what all key features we have in automation hub so first key feature is process identification process identification process identification shares our own ideas or requests for automation through this collaborative process identification tool second key feature is pipeline management so here it's pipeline management so in our company automation plan their states expected benefits and other important details are displayed in one single page check them out and express our opinion by upvoting the ideas or request third is process and documentations bank or repository so here Process and documentation bank, it means a central repository containing all the key documents related to a process selected as candidate for automation. And next key feature is integration with task capture. So here integration with task capture will help us to generate a PDD. And for this, trust me, we don't need to worry about creating a PDD from scratch. Automation Hub is integrated with UAP Task Capture Process Discovery Tool that help us to get detail inside our automation candidate directly from our employee. Next key feature is Marketplace. So it creates store and search reusable component across our organizations through the organization's private repository. And the last one is gamified RPE change management. The support system created to motivate and craft longer term engagement for both us and the company. It focuses on the growth and achievements in the gamified RPE implementations field by using points, reward, badges, ranks. So whenever we'll start with the automation hub, when you will select, you will see explore automation program, which is available here. If you want to submit the idea, simply click here and select this based on that you will get a form where you have to fill up all those details where you have to submit your idea that is automation name automation id descriptions business area pain points which you wanted to resolve then the negative impact high level assessment so here it will ask you the questions the decisions have straightforward rules so you have to select those questions and after all the assign process owner once it is done Either you can save as a draft or submit for review. I will create one more video on submitting the idea and assessment. From there, you can have a look about the complete project because this is a complete overview of Automation Hub. I just wanted to make you understand which all fields we have and how we will manage it. UiPath Automation Hub. In Workspace, we have Automation Pipeline where you will see all the automation pipeline listed here so if you want to check any any of the detail about the pipeline simply click here and view automation profile 
Whenever we'll select this, this will navigate it to the idea sections where you'll see all those details about the automation pipeline. This is a pipeline which is already done and it's in live status. So here in about sections, you'll have auto generated ID descriptions, pain points, which is exactly how we are submitting the ideas. And next, you can also see assessment on the detailed assessment, which is submitted by the team who built this. If you want to add it, then simply click on add it and fill this detail. So here you can also see suitability index within the graph where you can see suitability index 93% and readiness is 90%. We can also have a look about cost benefit. In the cost benefits, we have the automation potentials and ease of implementations, which is highlighted in baseline and new estimate other than the estimated cost and benefits you can see here. So this blue bar is showing net benefits. Black one is showing post automation cost and this orange sections is pre automation cost. So you can see even in the can charts about the project plan, how many days it will took to complete the process. So in baseline, we have analysis. Analysis will take eight days. Solution design is targeted for three days. Development is 11 days as and testing is six days. So this is a complete graph or can chat is showing here in the documentation sections. You will find all those documentations which is related with the projects. If you want to add any of the files, select the file and upload it. So this is how the documentation the sections will look like in the component sections. If you want to use or if you have used any used components, you can target those. And other than that, if you want to add any of the additional components which you have used or you wanted to utilize this just select the components and add it collaborators here you will see the collaborator details other than that change request if you wanted to add any change request then you can add it here in the history sections you will find it all the history about this project now here you can see the review status of our automation pipeline where you will see the listed review list Decision pipeline where the business team is able to make the decision based on the project cycle. So here also you can see global overview type of project is difficult, medium or easy. Inside organizations, if we have 100 projects and you want to have a look on the difficulty wise matrix, you can see all those matrices listed here. Whichever project is in implementation, so you can see it here. And even if you want to download the list in CSV file, just click on download CSV and you'll have all those data available in CSV. Exactly in a similar way, we can also see which all projects are in live status and the dates category submitted business unit. And here you can see the status. Is it in productions or in non production? So all those details are available. Again, if you want to download in CSV format, you can download it. If you already have submitted any of the documentations or ideas, you will see all those components here, your submissions, your collaborations, your components and following. In the automation program, you can see the exactly same detail which we have seen over there. If you want to see the people, how many people within the organizations you have, you can find it out here component which all components we have listed and if you want to upload any new component simply click on this and you will be able to upload the component in the leaderboards how leaders are listed here how many leaders have published the product which all leaders are actually using this you can see all those graphs here in the dashboards you can see the automation dashboards so which is showing the complete pipeline year wise which you can also apply the filter on quarterly basis and you will have the complete detail in monthly and quarterly basis available so you can see current pipeline one year estimated benefits average automation cost uh, if you want to see the average automation cost or running cost you can have a look about this because in this instance we don't have much automations deployed that's why you are able to see this null but if you have this instance with the data then probably you will have those details available
planning report if you want to see the complete planning report for the future so that you can plan it accordingly you can see it here even you can download those and cost report at the end if you want to see the cost report of any project simply select those and have a look about the costing cycle now this is all about the uipath automation hub if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching